Hi there everyone, welcome back into another session. Hope everyone is having a brilliant start to the week. Today, for the Bitcoin price. Does MM Crypto still do that? I don't know if it does actually. Before we jump into some order flow on the TIDR console and see what we can foresee in the markets, crypto and Bitcoin and otherwise for the coming 24, 48 hours, um, Twitter feed was absolutely mega active yesterday. A lot going on with meme coins obviously meme coin leaders still doing really well um but yeah roaring kitty back in the market so your wall street bet guys are um slinging everything they can into gme don't advise you do the same at these kind of high prices is it even roaring kitty just posting 12 13 videos in one day uh, could be a psyops uh, but yeah certainly entertaining in the crypto feed but yeah a couple of charts i want to jump into first before we dive into the order flow First one being from uh, the good old Eve Maxi by the top Eve Maxi Raoul Paul. Okay, um, talking about this banana zone. Okay, so if we just jump into this quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a link for this for any of you legacy market degenerates that want to take a deeper dive into this. Um, but what he's basically talking about, if anyone's actually seen this chart and not read into it too much, is um, he's looking at global liquidity. And at certain periods in cycles, when you get currency debasements that can be good for risk on assets. If I just open this up, what you can see is he he believes we are coming into this banana 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 zone again that we saw in 2020, 2016, and then 2012. And he's been tracking it from 2008, and that's what he goes into here. Um, so if you if you're of the opinion that we don't get a summer off. We don't get a selling mere walk away again, like I'm of the opinion of that we might be, uh, as traders and investors, we might be quite active this summer. I'll drop a link for this. Um, go and have a look at it because it's um, it's a pretty good um, it's a pretty good tweet feed to be honest. Um, in macro summer and fall, tech does really well, and it's in its own little min mini banana zone with fall being the most pronounced. And then obviously it goes into how that the tech stocks do really well, and Bitcoin generally outperforms those anyway. So really, really good um, tweet actually. I do do I even follow Raoul? Uh, no, I don't even follow him, but I found it interesting. Um, go and have a read of this because it does kind of. I'm no legacy market guru in any way, shape, or form, but it does kind of rhyme with what I'm thinking, and I think we, um, yeah, we don't particularly get any time off in the summer into fall. I think we're going to be busy boys and girls. Another tweet I liked from the Harvin Tracker was um, just puts a bit of macro in perspective. What these guys have done is they've looked at the Bitcoin price after halvings and they've scaled it up basically again back to 2012, just like Raoul's tweet on his bizarre banana zone. Okay, so 2024, 2020, 2016, 2012, and obviously they've scaled this this price accordingly. Okay, where are we now? This is where we are. Okay, um, we can obviously see the COVID crash there. Or whatever that was. Oh no, it was 2016, so you didn't see the COVID crash there. That will have been 2020, a different chart. Um, yeah, could have been that thing there. Not sure. Okay, but yeah, little bit of macro time frame perspective for all the bears out there. We've just had the halving. You've still got ETF flows. You've got more ETF flows coming. Okay, so yeah. I still think things um, look pretty good, to be honest. Drop a link for this one as well. Go and have a look at this. Um, don't It doesn't mean you have to just get overly bullish and just start bidding things now, okay? You still need to use the order flow and the like and um, execute with risk, all right? But yeah, welcome back, Roaring Kitty. Some good tweets on timeline. Uh, drop a link for these two. Go and have a look at them. Okay, legacy markets, a couple of things going on this week. PPI, CPI uh, this week could be a little bit of volatility in the legacy markets. Um, crypto and Bitcoin has been doing its own thing for the last year or so. But with more legacy market enjoyers in our crypto space with ETFs and the like, it could just give a little bit of risk on or risk off sentiment in the market. Okay, so let's see what we get. 
um, this week. I think Wednesday is probably a bigger bigger day, to be honest. Um, Tuesday today, obviously, PPI today. Tomorrow could be a little bit of a bigger day um, from uh, one thirty my time, one thirty GMT, so just an hour before the US session tomorrow, if you just bear that in mind, one hour before the US session, generally get that volatility anyway. Okay, so let's just bear that in mind. With that said, let's go and have a look at some order flow, some order blocks, volume and open interest, and anything else we can spot in the Bitcoin crypto market in the TRDR console. Right then guys, here we go, let's check some order flow. So we're in the TRDR console. If you're uh, unfamiliar with this console, go grab a link from below, best data provider out there in the crypto market. So here we are. Um, we're still in this four hour range, overall range, four hour and daily range. Yes, we are downtrending slightly on the four hour there. Um, you know, lower, lower highs, um, lower lows. What we need to do now after finding bid in these zones is maybe just, you know, we'd need to start confirming this area now as a higher low from here within the value area range lows and then start to get a push up. OK, with that legacy market data out this week, do we get soft inflation prints from our, our friends in the US? Maybe a soft inflation print, grind this area and then full send. Um, well, I'd start, you know, I'd, I'd really like to, you know, just start taking some of these levels now, confirm a higher low and then just rotate and flip some of these zones. And even if you just start to range a little bit higher, that would be really nice to see. OK, bit of patience needed, I would say, over the next 12 hours or so. You maybe don't get too much activity. Hello, Mr. Coinbase Pro. Have you been uh, hitting some major slippage with your cells? Yes, I believe you have. So this volume down here is actually Coinbase Pro. Someone's been, I think, market selling out, to be honest, and they've been just hitting some really, really heavy slippage, to be honest. Um, yeah, Coinbase. Yeah, Coinbase Pro there. Look, OK. Not good execution from you, uh, sir or madam. Anyway, so let's dive in. Uh, so here we are. You can just see some levels. Here you go, guys. So we've over the weekend we held the monthly open. So this was our last real good risk on area, 56, 57k area. We've subsequently bounced up and then we found a bid again at the monthly open. Okay, weekend lackluster price auction on really low, um, really bad volume. We've come back up into the value area low. We've bounced down again. And yes, we did just hit a group spot bid. OK, so let's go and have a look at a lower time frame and see what's going on. OK, so as we can see here, we did hit a little bit of selling here from most spot exchanges. Tweeted that yesterday that we're just hitting a little bit of local selling um, and posted in the Telegram, uh, TRDR Telegram to the guys as well. Um, someone asked me um, up or down sir so I said down sideways and then up <laughs> basically you know what what do you want me to say I don't have a clue where the market's going we just watch the order flow every day don't we right so what we're we seeing big order blocks here at 60k my only problem with that area is it's an absolute recycled area it's been tested so many times now so I don't particularly want to go down there again. I'd rather chop this zone and then just start to flow up, okay? And the main thing you can see now is, which is actually a good thing, okay? If you haven't seen my video that I uh, I share the stage with Mark Douglas, go and watch that because what we're actually starting to see now is dynamic bids starting to follow up a little bit on spot as the offers flow up as well. So that's really what you want to see. But the bulls need to prove themselves now and really start to push this up, okay? quick look at other exchanges bitstamp bears are really trying to sell into this zone um if this was more exchanges on an anti ratio i'd really be worried but they can soon pull this and we just float through it anyway okay coinbase pro here you go you can see that selling there and you can see where this uh, entity was getting some really dodgy slippage hence the volume that you saw on the other chart okay I'm not going to look at the other spot exchanges because there's really, really no edge, to be honest. Spot have kind of filled back here and at that 56, 57k level. It might take the perps exchanges to now step in, okay, put some dynamic bid in on low funding, low open interest to throw this, okay. But, you know, with that legacy market data coming out in the next 24, 48 hours, 
yeah chop grind this zone and um, watch for volume and maybe we get a full send okay looking at volume not a lot to see here retail we've got this drop here retail a little getting a little bit frothy here okay maybe they just get chopped up a little bit and you can see that's uh, relevant to the funding as well as funding has just climbed a little bit but i have to say there's been no major edge in volume okay so we've got this slight rise through here um, but no real major edges retail we're just trying to short the shit out of these this lure of the range but yeah no real real major edge um what you want to see now is basically this volume to just carry on going okay you want the volume to carry on going um and i'd even be happy to see the open interest follow up with the volume as well little bit of bid under there and away you go sir okay so that's something to watch but yeah looking for on bitcoin a little bit of chop around this area let's get some dynamic bid following price to push it up on soft inflation thank you us guys uh something to note as well if you are an ethereum lover i know a lot of guys are out there at the minute but it has been very very well bid and the eth btc chart was very well bid as well if you are still in ethereum or liking to trade it you're just gonna have to be patient aren't you to be honest because other shinier coins are outperforming you massively 2800 is your level to watch that's your largest order block right now okay another chart to watch doge has been very very nice um pushing up grabbing all the liquidity it can from this spot bid and it's now pushing up really really nice to see that and then the other chart that um i always kind of shill and i think always looks really good is um is sol not much spot bid it did get some spot dynamic bid back here as we see from those diamonds um gr again grabbed all its liquidity sometimes the bigger assets need to do that to then move in the market they need to grab as much liquidity as they can nice depth on the books um and it's just starting to move now so no major order blocks here on sol right now some really really small top levels um, and we'll see if we can move it up there but perps seem to want a piece of the action so now on sol really yeah i'd be kind of watching volume to make sure volume creeps up with the open interest and i'd want a sustained low funding profile on sol as well okay so that could look pretty good um yeah not too bad here at all is it okay so yeah that could be nice to see okay so with that being said what we'll do is it's tuesday the 14th today what we'll do is we'll do a discord live screen share later on in the trdr discord okay and then we'll do um we'll see what the volatility is like and we'll do a youtube live probably thursday again thursday seems to be a good week to sum up the price action um as we enter the weekend all right guys so join us in the trdr discord live at the us session later on okay and then join us on youtube this week um uh, let's see what price action we get chop this zone flow it up on a soft inflation inflation print please sirs let's see what we get have a great week everyone speak soon cheers